Hi guys, so hey, my name is Tibor Pollack. I'm a real estate agent in Destin, Florida, and I have a past client here who would like to share some of the experience with me. Uh, hi everybody, um, my name is Osman Ahmed and I am here um, as a uh, happy uh, past client, uh, a recent past client. We just closed uh, earlier, uh, about two weeks back. Uh, on a property um, that has been in our family for almost 20 years. And uh, I was running point on behalf of our family um, uh, to uh, think about listing this and then to make a decision about it and then to get uh, it listed and sold. Uh, and that's how we came across and met uh, Tibor. Um, uh, just to give you a bit of context, uh, th the property was a beachfront property in Destin, Florida. Um, uh, it's one that's been cared for by uh, and with a lot of attention from my mom in particular. Uh, you know, it's a place where we like to get together um, as a family. We've gone there multiple times a year um, and it's become part of a tradition in our family. And thinking about uh, selling was an emotional decision as much as it was a uh, financial decision. Um, the family was thinking about um, uh, change of scene, uh, different different property, and also was just looking at the market. That when you've been in this market, markets tend to go through cycles. And uh, we've we've you know over twenty years, we've seen the market go in its own cycle. And we we wanted to understand is this at the beginning of a new new cycle, and is it is this really a decision that we should take about selling it, um, or is it something we should wait on? And it's a bit stressful. Um, I, I, anyone who's been in a family dinner table conversation, thinking about uh, a property that's especially a vacation property that is uh, well loved and uh, lots of memories um, and cherished, uh, and then you're thinking about you know also the financial side of it as a family. Um, it's it's a tough, stressful conversation to have, um, and uh, it's an internal negotiation. I would say uh, in any family or even just one person trying to make that decision and. You know, thinking about listing in today's market is even more kind of stressful because it is an unpredictable market. Just to give you a context, when we reached out to uh, to, to real estate agents and met Tibor um, in 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 along the you know Emerald Coast, people who are you know we we reached out to real estate agents who are you know working in the area and know know the know the market. But um, there are a lot of choices out there, a lot of real estate agents and. That makes it more challenging too, because you you try to find one, and you've got all these different people and different choices. And we wanted to, you know, we did, we weren't sure what we wanted to do, and we weren't sure what the market was going to do to us. So it was it was you know I think a lot of unpredictability, and that yeah brought a little bit of stressful. You want to stress, you want to make the right decision, right? And um, the, it's a fast moving market, and you know just you know with the economy that's going right now, the way things are going. Um, lots of different headlines coming out at the same time we were thinking about this decision. And um, I think uh, we, we really, uh, you know, we're trying to understand what our options were um, and what the cost benefit of those choices would be. And, you know, to tell you, tell you the truth, it's Tibor who ended up helping make our decision making process, you know, quite easy for us. Um, he gave it, he, he helped us establish a set of facts and a set of criteria to kind of, you know, break the problem down. Um, and 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 look at what the you know what the market is doing now and what the market might be doing down the road. We 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 knew about him from a card he sent to us. He sent us a postcard in the mail, maybe six months uh, back or maybe nine months back, and um, we kept it uh, because it, it 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 what we liked about the card. It wasn't the typical real estate agent card where it's you know a picture and a smiley face and a friendly face all real estate agents are good with people or they should be if they're in the in the business but um <laughs> he he offered some real data for us and he he shared with us what's going on with the market what the trends have been in terms of listing prices and uh times on the market and all of that and we thought wow this person's giving us some data mm -hmm. and so we pulled out that card from from wherever we kept it in 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 a, in a, in, a, in a drawer and we said, let's get on the phone with uh, uh, this person. We called him up. He made time to quickly make a call with us. And what I like most about the first conversation is he didn't give us like any clear cut, definitive, absolutely, it's going to sell for this or the market's going to be like that. He said, you know what? Send me the details. Let me think about it. And, you know, we, he gave us some basic, you know, trends of what's going on. But he said that every 
sell is is different. Uh, he said that it's all about the inventory, um, and it's it's about you know finding the right buyer um, for the property, and it's it's not about you know just the market trends. It's about you know finding the right match. And he said, "Let me think about. it. I'll get back to you." And yeah, he came back with uh, an answer which I liked, which was, "Hey, I need more time to think about this because there are no." He pulled up comparables and shared with us what recent sales have been in the building, and there weren't any particularly. It was apples and oranges, and it was hard to really guess. So he he gave us. He went and did some more research and uh, uh, started talking to people. So uh, Tibor, I was going to give you a like, chance to talk. <laughs> it's a special case when you come to your came to your property. Because again, you guys have something unique. And when you come to your un uniqueness and unique properties, you really have to do your diligent work. Because give you a number, like I couldn't give you some random number, but to do really diligent work on my part and present it to you, that's how I base my business on. It wouldn't be just a random number. So go ahead. And, and we, it's exactly what we love. What we liked is that you are a definitely a numbers guy. If I, if I were to give you one thing that you're really good at is numbers. You presented it to us in a pretty simple way, um, and and you were able to come up with a method. You shared with us your methodology because there weren't direct comparables like next door or in the same building, and you you laid out kind of a football field of here's where the, the range is, uh, here's uh, things to look at, and uh, you gave us your you know I guess recommendation on 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 what the fair market value because we needed to understand what the fair market value of the of the property was we also needed to understand where the market might be going um and and he you know uh, Tibor you gave us a pretty good understanding of what the seasonality is in in the local market so there's that which is every year there's sort of a inventories kind of go up and down uh, in a particular season we were right uh, ahead of Memorial Day we were, one of our questions was you know, is there is the right seasonality? Is it is it before Memorial Day? And also, what's it going to look like in a year from now or two years from now? And now, Tibor, you didn't give us a crystal ball and predict the future for us, but you did give us a very good understanding of what's happening nationally, what's happening with the Fed, with interest rates, with uh, buyers, um, you know, people that are, uh, you know, cash buyers uh, versus people that are financing and 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 what's influencing the, the the buyer side of the equation? Obviously, you, you we understand you work on that side of the equation too. So you 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 represent, you know, all the whole process. Whether you're working for a buyer or or the seller or or matchmaking in between, and I think that was very helpful to us because we we talked to about nine real estate agents um, uh, because we we thought the best way we're gonna we couldn't find data. We looked on Redfin and Zillow to see what the bar was for. But it, you know where the charts were. We're trying to get some data, and we didn't course, have that. Of course. And um, you were able to pull up numbers, visualize those numbers in charts, and give us the information we needed. And we talked to others. Some people just gave us. They lowballed it. They said it's going to be like this. They didn't. I don't think they haven't pulled up the property to before they had talked to us to do a little bit of homework. Um, others were a bit too promising this the 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 moon in the sky too quickly and. We like that you were um, not only uh, saying I'm going to come back to you as quickly as possible with uh, after I do my homework, but you were sharing with us your methodology. What, you know what was the the reasoning behind uh, your recommendations and your read of the market, and that really took away a lot of the stress because we had some ideas. You know we were weighing an emotional decision and a financial decision at the same time, and. Um, you know, it, 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 it helped us get to an understanding of what the fair market value was for what we understood was a unique property. And uh, it allowed us to get a clear understanding, hunch, I can say, of where the market's going um, based on not just the data you offered us, but also your um, experience, uh, uh, you know, over, over a long period of time working in this particular market. And um, it was really helpful for us. And, you know, while you were answering our questions, which was great, uh, we weren't sure. And I never, we never said, okay, well, we're going to come back to you. We're going to have a dinner meeting with the family, come back to you and let you know whether we're going to go ahead or not. And even though you understood that we weren't sure whether we were going to sell or not, and it was really something we had to discuss as a family, my parents needed to consider it. You, you still were kind of pre-positioning, ready to move. So, okay, I'm going to talk to the photographer. I need to make sure that this is, you know, that that, that we can, if we want to move, I'm ready to, you know, hit go, uh, uh, you know, when you guys tell me to go. And 
that helped us feel, you know, and also you painted a pretty clear roadmap of what needs to get done by what time. And that was the other stressful part is, okay, you know, how are we going to show it? How are we going to let people in? And, you know, you, you shared with us your experience of how to, you know, this is a rental property when we're not ourselves staying there on vacation. And, you know, we were worried about how we could manage that. And you, you understood how to, you know, uh, not disrupt uh, people who are spending their vacations there and, and, and gave us a roadmap on how to get this listed, get this, sh um, you know, shown to potential buyers and right. a timeline that was pretty um, fast. Yeah, that helped influence just, our decision. I was going to just add to it, you know, like what you mentioned, I really kind of really appreciate it. But basically when it comes to the emotional and the financial decision, that's really up to the owners and their decision. I kind of like to come in as the guy who, like you mentioned, I've been doing the business and I'm in a professional in that sphere. And I don't know nothing about carpentry. I don't know nothing about other fields, but when it comes to real estate, I am expert, and especially when it comes to the Gulf Shore Drive, you know, been doing businesses for a long time and I know the facts. And again, like I try to present you the motion of action it was it's not a lot of people think it's just like oh it just you take pictures and you get it done and it is like there is a lot of ahead and benefit you as a seller show you my plan it wasn't even we tried to you know even put the property in a contract prior to even being on an mls so there's a lot of routes and a lot of strategy what we were using in your particular property yeah, no, we that that actually influenced our decision because I think we we clearly understood that there was an opportunity to get um, I would say uh, real value, market value. Like you know, we, we, there were no expectations that we should sell this below the market value or above. I mean, obviously, no one will say no to a higher premium on a property, but I think we wanted to know what the fair market value was. And um, uh, you gave us a clear understanding of that. And I think the other piece that influenced the family decision was you, you painted a very clear roadmap of how to get it done um, and, and in, a, in a very seamless way. It, it, and it was very logical to us. We could see your strategy um, and, and that helped us um, make the decision ultimately. And um, I think, you know, it's the combination of being able to give us a process vision and, 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 and make it easy and seamless. Uh, as well as just the, the the very solid recommendation and and, and data you provided us, um, and by by doing that, we we made the other decision, which was which was you know who do you know one is are we going to sell it? How are we going to sell it? And who are we going to work with as a real estate agent? And I, I think in the process of you answering our questions, and and you providing us a proposal on how to get this done uh, and to represent the family in this potential sale, you know we could pretty quickly understand that you were somebody we could trust and and someone that we could you know trust from an honesty point of view like for us that matters a lot um is for everyone is that you know is this somebody you can trust um and second uh, competence right so you know we were worried okay if we list this wrongly it's on the market for 20 days 30 days for and people start wondering why is it on the market so long there must be something and so that was another risk that we were and it's all about having confidence in the person um, uh, and how it's described, how to write it, how to present it, both to people in person when you're showing it, but you know a lot of people are online. And I don't remember the data, but um, we we had a pretty good understanding when we made the decision that uh, that other question, which is who should we go with, right? As a real estate, who could represent us and the family in this? Um, we we pretty much just by you answering the questions, being patient with our questions, being responsive. I mean, you talked to my mom. You we, we had a we had a call with my mom. My mom had a lot of the same questions I asked. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, you know, everyone wants to get a clear understanding. And I think after we got off the call, uh, you know, my hunch was there, but the family as a whole had a very strong belief that, okay, we've got Tibor on our side. He's got a plan. He knows how to do all this stuff on um, social media, on mar digital marketing, you know, because we, we weren't sure where the buyers were because everything's online or in person, we wanted to make sure that we we really, the fair market values for the whole market and that everyone gets visibility on this property and um, you get the best possible, um, you know, sort of, uh, you know, whoever's interested in looking for something like this property knows it's out there and gets a chance to to bid for it. Um, and, and we were, we, we weren't, we didn't make the wrong decision. I can tell you that. So we're very happy with our decision, um, you know, to we're, we're, we're you know, we, we closed on the 30th of last month. 
we're making our last owner's visit, kind of a goodbye visit, um, also written into the the, the details of, 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 of what Tibor negotiated with the, the new buyer, the new family that has um, uh, taken ownership of the property. And we're, we're very happy with the results. Um, and, it, and I would say two things there. One is getting, you know, a fair market value, which, you know, I, I want to talk, I want Tibor to share a little bit more about the guessing game of how to list this um, and, and how, what we learned and how, you know, spot on this ended up being for, for even from the buyer's perspective, uh, the, it, really, we offered this property at fair market value, and which is great from both sides. Um, but we, we, you know, are happy also with uh, how quickly the process uh, went. Um, there weren't any major, um, you know, um, hurdles, uh, and it closed on time. And, uh, you know, I, I, I can say that during the entire process, Tibor helped us, uh, you know, really took on this is, you know, we just checked in to see how's it going. And he was just leading um, the whole way. Awesome. Well, I really appreciate you saying all these words, and I hope this goes. Well, Tibor did not. Tibor did not uh, uh, pay me for this. This is not a paid advertisement. This is coming from from you know our real life experience. Um, I would uh, you know I, I would again say the str the strategic listing price. You know that was the one. Even I you know I, I like to think that I'm good at you know estimating stuff, but this was out of my domain. You have to really know the local market. You have to know buyers. You have to know people and. You know, I think, uh, you know, executing all of the things that it took to put this on listing, whether it was the 3D virtual tour, which we, we have a copy of, it kind of is our souvenir of, of, of every inch of the property. And he found a nice sunny day um, so that people could see how beautiful things are, uh, you know, uh, when and you're 20 years that. from now on, you can put a head set on and you're going to be yeah, walking virtual, through, you virtual, can walk virtual. through the property actually it exactly is. exactly so we got that and and you know within you know just to tell you about the listing price you know was that it, it, it was that kind of it, it was really a property that could have listed in one category or the next category it was in that range uh, are we supposed to talk real numbers here i mean it's we like, i don't want to really like we i can kind of disclose the, like okay, was that, it was that, so yeah. I, I usually go don't don't do specific numbers but i can i can say when i send you out the comparable market so obviously we have the low the medium listing and the high and right. i know i always don't i wasn't telling you like i can bring you like the other realtors like bring you the top right i said that can happen but might not this is the number what we are shooting for right. and we agreed on number and then another fact can come up a higher come so we changed actually the number to higher and right. we actually got really close to the number what was the highest on that original estimate what i gave you so it was that's right you, know, you see it works out so it, was it, worked, it worked out really well and i think you know you that was another point of stress is what it should be uh, listed at and I think you strategically listed it right at the medium high, uh, at a point that was within the medium range, at the high end of the medium. But you, you were able to do it in such a way that people who are looking for, you know, who have the spending power and are looking at comparable properties on the higher end, or people in in the middle high, uh, you, you were able to list it so that people who set their Zillow's or their uh, realestate.com, uh, it shows up in their their searches. So that you didn't, you know, you made sure as many people who genuinely had a, a, a had a potential of wanting to buy this property in terms of uh, budget um, could could take a look at it. And I think that was that was um, that worked out really well within 24 hours. I think you listed it on a Friday morning, and I forgot how many hits you got on Zillow. I was only looking at Zillow, but it was pretty impressive by how many people saw that. And I think it's because of the strategic listing price. And second, um, we had bids uh, like a mini bidding war with people within that range who are the I would say people who are in the high the high medium market and 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 the and the low uh, high market you know so right at that at that at that order and um, there was a good number of quotes and at a certain point um, we we got some quotes that were multiple quotes which were much higher than the, the listing price. Um, to the point where uh, we we were you know pleasantly surprised, and we went and 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 again this is one of the things I should say. Again, it was like, okay, which bid you go with? Somebody who's asking high, who's to get financing, or the terms and conditions of these these offers have lots of you know uh, devil in the details. And and Tibor was able to simplify each of those. He gave us an analysis of each one of those. 
and allowed us to understand this, in this case, a financial net uh, understanding of what the net would be, you know, in, including the the uh, broker, you know, the, the 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 commissions and all the other fees and all that. What would be the net? So we could really compare uh, th these. And there was one um, a bid that was one, a buyer that uh, Tibor brought himself, uh, and we were able to understand, you know, multiple different uh, people who, had, who who people who had uh, uh, given different bids and different slightly different timings, different down how much money they were putting down in escrow, all of that. And he was able to share with us his experience of what, you know, who's a serious buyer? What is this? How do you translate this into, you know, intuitively and intellectually, like, you know, who's a serious buyer? What are the pros and cons of going with this route or that? That was educational for us. Um, and uh, we went with uh, Tibor's recommendation. Uh, and um, I think it went very, very well. Uh, the, 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 after we accepted that, uh, it was pretty, pretty clear path after that in terms of just getting inspection done, uh, lining up uh, details. And uh, Tibor did a great job of also asking, getting from us the information he needed for the buyer. Because I think at that point he was serving the buyer, which is the buyer's got two weeks, 10 days to make a decision. He's put his, you know, before locking in. And there were lots of questions about rental, uh, the rental property, the, the, you know, different questions about the insurance. This was a person who like us, was looking at this as a vacation home as well as a rental property. I think more with a rental focus than we had, and really wanted to size this up uh, with a profit and loss sheet and build a little mini business model on it. And we we got you know we got questions. It was kind of flip side. We were asking people the questions, then he was serving the buyer side, making sure because you know we needed to make sure the buyer had all the information that they needed to you know go forward with the decision and. He made sure that we 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 got the questions and information he needed when he needed, not more information. The Goldilocks, like the exact right amount of information that was needed, and um, we were able to get him what he needed to to answer all the questions on the buyer side. Uh, I want to say one last thing before Tibor, you you, you can you can kind of. I want to actually up. add to whatever you just mentioned. You know, when it comes to the analyzing the offers, it really it's not just what you see on a paper. You have to you have to have some experience and and transform those experience in a real life situation. And a lot of time, actually, I think the first offer where we decided to go, it wasn't even my buyer. It was some buyer who actually had a you know, different, different offer, but for no reason, they just backed up. So we went with our backup offer and we even have a higher offer, you know, at that point, but with all the commission reduction, there's a lot of options, what you can do, you as benefit the most out of seller and it went well and everybody, everybody is happy on the end. Yeah, no, I think, I think that was, I, I think we're happy that both sides were happy. I think you served us and the buyer well, and I think they did a market assessment, uh, like it had an assessment done and the, the bank had an assessment done and it came almost exactly where you predicted it to be. So we we feel happy that uh, it was a price that was, we did, we discovered what the fair market value was awesome. uh, and, 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 and we were happy to see the buyer also discovered that they were getting it for the fair market value and it was assessed twice. Zillow gives its automatic and of you know, course. it was don't it don't was, don't believe Zillow. Zillow is there good for contact, but don't use Zillow for real data. If you right. want to get serious data, you know, always contact your local realtor who can pull up the MLS sales. Those are the most important. And you cannot get those access to those unless you are a licensed realtor. Yeah, I think that having that and then having your interpretation of it. And then you were responsive to, I think, what, why we, all our questions. Um, very responsive. You know, sometimes I don't want to put you. So let's do this. Summarize my services. Give me 90 seconds. Why people should use me from so your first, perspective. First of all, for, I mean, first of all, I would say uh, your experience and expertise. So like your competence I mean, I, you could be the greatest guy on earth, but if, if you don't know how to fly a plane, I'm not going to get in the plane with you, right? And right. so uh, we, we had we had very strong confidence uh, impression after talking to you, and we now know, having worked with you, that you can you can not only fly the plane but land the plane. So that was that was a big deal for us. So th that's one. Second is your I think your ability to provide above and beyond insights uh, than what what I've seen from other because we did talk to other real estate agents and we have you know when you're you're doing this you get lots of friends giving you kind of lots of advice and 
it can be too much advice sometimes. And I think, you know, to get the insights, expertise that you offer, data, working numbers, and simplifying things and answering the questions honestly and, and fairly and letting us know when you don't have 100% certainty really matters. Um, and then the third one is your process expertise. I think you you really nailed it. With, I mean, I think you know, you've done, been around, this is not your, this is, I don't know your, how many rodeos you've been to, but you, you've been doing this a lot. Why, um, why few? Yeah, and we, we could tell. And so putting the whole process in motion, getting it listed, you know, you, you also worked your own network, um, you know, previewing it before, you know, you did a coming soon, but, you know, letting people, so you know how to kind of curtain raise, tease the market and time it well. And um, I, so your ability to do the process, so competence, uh, your, your insights and, and, and expertise and recommendation, third, your process expertise. And then fourth, I, th- I, I would just say that you're just a really fun guy to work with. Um, you know, you, you, we, we enjoyed, you know, having some, you know, conversation. You haven't done the fun part. Don't worry. When you come down for your last day, I will take you out. No, but I mean, it was, it was like our view was working with, you know, real estate agents can sometimes be stressful. Um, right. you, there are lots of questions. There's lots of moving parts and we were out of town. So we, we live out of town, um, and it's 11 hours drive for us or, you know, two, two and a half hour flight. And, you know, we needed to really have confidence that somebody who we didn't meet, we met online, um, somebody who, who we could really have confidence and trust in while we're away to, to take care of this. And obviously, we, we want to make sure that, um, uh, you know, that, that we, we didn't over, you know, exhaust you. But I, I do know that when we had a nine o'clock at night call or, you know, a text message, I wasn't expecting you to answer till the next morning. And, you know, I don't want people to think that you're available or you know your family will kill you if you if if you're. But we we really appreciated you being available to us when we had questions and you went above our expectations. I I never expected you to respond back to a number of emails, a number of text messages until the next morning or until Monday, and and uh, you know you were you know I don't want to say you. I don't want people to think that they can get you. That's yes, like don't advertisement, but if you're realtor, you're realtor, you're doing 24 seven, but yes, right. I totally get it. Hey, yeah. I really appreciate again, your time and all the kind words. And hopefully this is going to help understand, you know, for some future sellers who are making and dealing with the same decision than you, you, you or you dealt with, you know? Yeah. So again, I mean, the advice I would, the advice I would give is don't go fast on picking your real estate agent. Uh, take the time to really ask this because you learn a lot and you know, it's a big decision. It's not a, it's, it's, it's like you make, how much time do you spend looking at, you know, couches and furniture that you need to spend a lot of time thinking about, you know, who's going to help you through this process. And honestly, um, uh, the reason why I'm giving a recommendation is because uh, I looked at your recommendations and that was a big piece of data in addition to just interacting with you. So I would ask lots of questions and don't feel uh, that spending 30 minutes on a phone call, don't feel shy about going to the next or the next or the next till you find that right person for you. You'll know that person when you find find him or her. Uh, we knew Tibor was the right person for us uh, and I would recommend him. My family would recommend him. And, you know, he, he had, a, you know, every time we'd asked him a question, he, he had this punchline, which is, you got it. And that, when he said that, we knew that he, he, he's exactly confident in his answer. And, you know, one last, one last thing I'd add is he helped my mom clear out the owner's closet, uh, saved her a trip down there and um, uh, was re- really helpful in taking care of our family photos and things like that. So we're very appreciative of, of, of all of that. Awesome. Thank you so much. Hold yeah, on. take care. Look forward to me. We've never met in person, so we've always been doing videos. We're going to so- do some pictures, and I'm going to include some. You're shaking your head oh, on your past friend. balcony. We'll have, we'll, have, we'll, my, we'll have the family in the photo. Yeah, so I, I'm here speaking on behalf of the family. Everyone's camera shy. But um, yeah, the Amid family is, you know, two thumbs up. Yeah. Thanks again.